Hey everyone, welcome to Soft Asia. In this video, I will show you how you can create stopwatch using JavaScript. So let's dive into the coding. I already have HTML code. Basically, it is just two divs, one for timer and one for buttons. We have three buttons: pause, start, and reset. Without wasting our time, let's just start writing JavaScript code. First of all, I will declare four variables. I will use let. First variable is milliseconds. Seconds. Minutes. And hours. I will initialize them to. Zero. I used array destructuring to initialize these uh, variables. I will declare a variable named timer reference. I will assign it a reference to an HTML element with class timer display. timer display I will declare another variable named int and assign it a value of null Now I will add event listener to an element with ID start timer. When it is clicked, the function checks if int is null is not null. And if so, it clears the interval. It clears interval using clear interval function. It then sets int to the ID of new interval created by set interval function which calls the display timer function every 10 seconds 10 milliseconds
Now I will add a click event listener to an HTML element. HTML element with ID pause timer. When it is click the function clear the interval using clear interval function. I will add another event listener to an HTML element. with an ID reset timer When clicked the function clears the interval using same function clear interval and reset the variable to zero. And sets the in a HTML of timer reference to zero. Timer reference dot inner HTML equals zero. At the end, I will define the display timer function. Function display timer which updates the timer display by incrementing the milliseconds, seconds, minutes and hours variable as needed. if milliseconds equals 1000 milliseconds equals 0 seconds plus plus If second sixty minute. plus plus
I will format these values into a string and set the inner HTML of timer reference to this formatting ensures that each value is displayed with two digits. So the timer looks like hours, minutes, seconds and then milliseconds. Let h equals hours And at the end, milliseconds. MS milliseconds. Timer reference dot inner HTML equals dollar sign curly brackets hours I will just copy it milliseconds seconds and minutes and that's it with just a few lines of code we have built a simple timer that can be controlled with just three buttons. Now let's check on front end. You can see it's working fine. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.